Hi, it's me again, Sophia Rose, with the animal, the world of animals, and these are my alpacas. They're just like little babies. <coughs> they they look like large teddy bears to me, so. <laughs> they do poo in one spot, and they can't hurt you in any way because they've only got bottom teeth. And just to alert you, if you ever go near alpacas, just don't touch the head because they don't like the heads being touched. They don't mind the bodies and everything else being touched. And you've just got to be careful if you go behind them. They might kick, but they won't kick you. They're kicking the other alpaca just to alert them that someone's behind them and they're in front. So they're four years old and um, yeah, they're just our little cuddly bears again. Teddy bears? Yeah, teddy bears. Have they been sheared then, Sophia? Yes, but the one that hasn't been sheared. What have we got now? What's Mama, over there? Bruno. Oh, Bruno, bless him. So is Bruno alright with every animal? Yeah. <sighs> Hi, Bruno. He does scare them, but he would never ever go to hurt them. Even when we first got Bruno, um, because we've had him since he was a little pup. And um, Hi, since he was ever born and he could walk and we could take him for walks and his lead, he just, they were pretty scared of him then, but he's never ever gone to bite the alpacas or any of the animals. Ah. He does sometimes find a way to climb in, I don't know how. And he like, he jumps things so we can look after the animals. He's a very cheeky mister. And when they get a bit scared, they all could look together. And you can't have one girl in. You can't have what They're all boys, because you, if you have a girl, they'll all just fight over the girl. So we've all we've got all boys. Because if you get girls, then they're just like, they're not very cuddly. And they're not very nice as much as... Can you catch them then, so? Um, I think so. And then show me how you catch them. Yeah. If you can. Any? Any, right. I'm going for Elvis. That's if you just want to kick him. Yes! It does take quite a long time to catch him, but you just Do you do walks? Do you do what? Do you do those treks? Yes. Alpaca so do, treks? So they've got to be over seven to go out um, to go out trekking on the hunting field. And, um, Why do they have to be over seven? Because sometimes they just get a little bit bored and they just scare the animals a little bit. And you're so, frightened they might let go? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Who's that you've got then? This is Orpheus. He's a very cheeky man, but he's the easiest to catch. That's why we always go for Oreo. And if you see when I kick his head, he like tries to move away. So he don't like the heads being touched. They don't mind the bodies being touched. But they just don't like the heads being touched. They do like moving about, but they're not trying to scare you or anything. And he might lift his uh, lips up soon. If you come really, really close to him, you can only see his bottom teeth. Yeah, you've got to go really, really close to him to see his bottom teeth. Come on, Maria. What do these eat then? Just that. What do they eat? So they eat special alpaca mix. And as you can see, this is 
Why do they only go for short grass? I don't know. It's I think it's because in fact yeah, it's because um if any snakes or anything are in there, then they'll just get frightened and scare the other animals. And when they're eating grass, there's always one that's got the heads up. So one of them is just looking, watching for snakes and anything that can be in grass. So, oh okay. Yeah, okay. They just are, 